Asher, what are y'all gonna go pick up? What's mama going to get and daddy? What do they say? What do they say? What do they make? guys heading up to Clark, Missouri to Green Pastures Farm to get our sheep. Yay! I'm pretty darn excited about it. We dropped the little man off this morning on his Nana's. You excited to go to Nana's? Yep. What are mommy and daddy going to get? Sheep? From us, it's like almost six hours. So we're actually making it a two day trip. We're going to kind of go on a date. You know, since it might be the last time we get to do that for a while since yeah. about seven months pregnant. So <laughs> yeah, we'll have two of those little dudes running around here shortly. Yep. But we're excited. Yay. Getting all pretty to go get our sheep? No, we're going date. <laughs> <Before we> go. <laughs> Who's the lucky guy? I don't know, it's just Nina. Oh yeah? <laughs> So we had a six hour drive with no kids. I think we found a few things we could do. All right, well, we're on the way to get our sheep and decided to stop off at Landry's restaurant for a date night. Yeah, since Nana had the baby, we're gonna have a little fun before we get a sheep. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> How are you feeling about being a shepherd real soon? <laughs> I'm a little nervous, <laughs> really excited, a little nervous. I think I'll be, um, I think I'll calm down a lot once they get on the property and I see if everything I've been working so hard on there works and they actually stay on our property. I think I'll be, I'll be good then. If they stay on your property, you can only go up from there and improve. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'd like to stay, keep them on the property alive. You know, yeah. we saw a bear alive on the property preferred. a couple weeks ago. <laughs> their period is just good. <laughs> so I'm just praying that the livestock guardian dogs yeah. do their job. <laughs> yeah. He's an expensive, or she is an expensive <laughs> dog, so yeah. hopefully she does her job. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. So we drove almost the entire trip on Thursday, so about five hours. We only had an hour left Friday morning. We ended up staying in Jefferson City. All right, we just checked out of our hotel. Yeah. We're all packed up and about to head over to Green Pastures Farm and pick up our sheep. Right. Yay. We're pretty excited. <laughs> New shepherds on the fly. <laughs> oh God. I hope that doesn't. Hope that doesn't catch on. So we had about an hour drive after we left our hotel to where the Green Pastures Farm is located in Clark, Missouri. We had an appointment for 9 a.m. that we had scheduled via email much earlier, a few months prior. We were super excited and we really just didn't know what to expect coming into this. We knew we were picking up 12 ewes and one livestock guardian dog, a girl, that we had named Pippa. <laughs> We actually felt super blessed that we were even given the opportunity to purchase any sheep from Green Pastures Farm this year because back when we contacted them in March, they only had 12 ewes left to purchase. They were almost sold out for the year and they let us purchase them. <laughs> we were kind of last minute, but so excited to be able to give them that opportunity. As you can see, when we pulled up to the farm, there was a line of other trucks waiting to get their sheep, and we really didn't know what to expect. We were really hoping that we'd get to meet Greg and Jan when we got there. So as soon as we got out of the truck and stretched our legs a bit from the long trip, we walked up to a corral area where they were holding all of the sheep and they had a bunch of their workers there, very hardworking men. And then we also saw Miss Jan Judy was taking uh, the information from other people that had pulled up in front of us and we knew that we were next in line to talk to her and pay off our balance and get our sheep. 
While we waited to talk to Miss Jan, we actually met some really nice people, including this guy in this plaid shirt. He was very informative and he actually has a large flock of hair sheep. I actually bought from another guy that, I mean, the same deal here in Missouri. And, and we started with like 200, so it was a big bam. Started with 200. Oh, wow. wow. Do you like doing it? Hey, we're all in on You like it, it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's cool. We were excited to see Greg pull up as we were waiting to talk with Miss Jan. It was really neat getting to see these guys just pick up these sheep. They are only like four months old, but it was really cool because we can't do that with even a four month old calf. <laughs> Here we are finally meeting Mr. Greg Judy. We were so excited to talk to him. We had already spoken to him on the phone previously during the week, but it was really neat getting to meet him in person. He is so nice and information just pours out of him while you speak with him. Such a nice guy. It was finally our turn to talk with Miss Jan. We're at Cody and Jesse Toops. And we have her check in the car, in the truck. Toops, T-O-U-P-S. She took our names and got our order ready and we paid her our remaining balance and then we just were ready to load up our sheep. Here Cody is backing up to the corral area to go ahead and load up the 12 sheep and our pup. So the guys rounded up the sheep into the corral area and then Cody jumped right in to help load up the sheep into the livestock trailer. Look at you! <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least they're not full grown yet. I didn't have to learn with the 100 pound one. With only one last sheep to load up, Cody took his time picking out that one. How cute! <laughs> this one's going to be special because I actually picked this one just now. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones I was just grabbing. She looked kind of fat. So. All right. There you go, girl. And then we just got to get the dog. They go get Spot. Yeah. There she is. There she is. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. <laughs> She's so big. I know. How old are they? Six months. Once we loaded up our pup, we were ready to hit the road and head back home with our new sheep family. We're ready. I know y'all are busy. It was a pleasure to meet y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all so, so much. Thank you. you Thanks for All right. We're headed back. <laughs> got our girls. We can call these girls too for now. We got yeah. 12 ewes and a, a girl pup too. So Yeah. Spot. Our, all but our we're girls. calling her Pippa. Our dog's name is Pippa. Yeah, our dog, <laughs> on paper it says spot, but she is Pippa. <laughs> Asher, our little yeah. boy, <laughs> likes that name. Yeah. So yeah, everyone was, uh, despite the line, I guess, my concern was, and oh no, heat. we're not going to get yeah. to talk to anyone, but um, everyone was super informative, super friendly, and um, they, they still made you feel like you were the only person there for the... 15 yeah. or 20 minutes you were there so I really really enjoyed the experience purchasing these sheep from Green Pastures Farm with yes. Greg Judy and all his uh, people he had working with him I'm sure you see him in a lot of his videos if you ever watch them but the people he had working with them were more than happy to answer questions so there were so many people there to help you that you felt like you were kind of getting catered to if you did have any questions um, yeah so specifically i would recommend we did this um, we i asked him some things specifically about these sheep that are right here in this pen and specifically about our livestock guardian dog i asked him things like you know i, I see in y'all's videos you have all sorts of dogs i'm sure some of them 
obey more than others and i said this specific dog that you're loading up for me that we chose yeah. before we ever knew what type of personality she would have uh, what kind of dog is she how does she do is she flighty does she want does she want to jump fences um, what do we have to worry about and he answered those questions for me uh, which was super awesome yeah they were super nice people very very nice people and, uh, it was a great experience now we just need to get them get home, these babies home. <laughs> I wanted to say also another question I asked him, which some of you might be wondering if you're using this single wire, in my case, two wire, two hot wire method to keep these sheep in. Um, I wanted to know, you know, not all of them are flighty. I'm sure they all have slightly different pers personalities. But I was like, these are flock creatures, so if one jumps over that fence, is it just going to take off? Like, how difficult will it be to round this sheep up? Yeah. And he said that usually if they jump over the fence or something, they're just going to be sitting on the other side of it because they don't want to leave their flock. So that was really good to know. And um, with the dog, uh, this dog specifically, he likes said, to jump. she, and of course, you know, we get the one that likes to jump, but she apparently will stay with the flock unless she sees you. She likes people. She that likes people. Right. So he said she will try to jump the fence to get to you. Um, he said you don't have to worry about her running off though she will jump the fence just to come get some love yeah and he said what you do is just kind of scold her for that put her back in and something else he told me I could do is you use what's called a drag until they quit that behavior and basically you just have like a, a small chain tied around their neck and and then I attach that to a piece of uh, rubber off of a tire something that's yeah I guess if it's a problem keep them from jumping yeah. and that'll that should help keep them in the fence until they just learn to abide by it a little better these are still young dogs so uh, they were trained with the method of fencing and everything we're using but they are still young dogs so they still do require some training so, so I, I did have a question about how he keeps up with them um, and they have they gave us these tags actually that have numbers so basically you tag their ears and he said you just want to keep up with the tag numbers in a book um, unless you can afford to go to the I think called call them RFID tags. yeah I think, so. I think that's what they're called and where it's more of an electronic system which I'm not doing anytime soon unless our herd just starts to get crazy big um, but I think this tagging method these are the tags they sent us with and these tags also they said are the tags that prove that we purchased these yeah, sheep for the so if we get pulled over or something on the route home then these tags will be our proof just like a deer tag or something if you kill a deer and have a deer in the back of your vehicle the deer tag proves that you did everything legally that's what these tags also help with right now yeah. so um, I did get to, <laughs> I, I wanted to jump right in there. I know pretty much everyone that was pulling up was just watching the guys load their sheep up. And I was like, if I'm going to get kicked or do something goofy trying to pick a sheep up, because I know I'm going to have to, I want to do it while all these people are here to laugh at me and tell me how to do it the right way. So I just jumped right in there and, and got to work helping them load up the sheep. Uh, so that was pretty fun. It was a really fun experience. Cody probably would have stayed all day and worked. I would have. I would have worked for free for them for <laughs> just to learn. a couple of days just to learn. Uh, and I wanted to talk to them longer. Greg, but you can give us a call for the next time. He'll come up here and help. Yeah. I better watch what I say. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I don't want to do that. All right, gas stop. Check on our sheet. <laughs> they don't look nervous at all. Hey. Hey, Pippa. What are y'all doing? They're so little. We weren't expecting them to be this small. Our little man and his Nana was out waiting on us as soon as we pulled up. 
They were so excited to see the sheep and the new dog, Pippa. Little man's waiting on us. <laughs> we got his feet. As soon as we pulled up, Asher was able to look inside the trailer and see the sheep for the first time. For all the sheep, well, you can call them dirty if you want. <laughs> yeah, they're dirty. You can call them dirty. Asher, what do you think? Hey, look at Nana. Tell do her you what you see, think. You see, what do you see? You want to go let them out? Yeah. Want to go Let's let them it. out? Okay. Get down. We're going to yeah. go get in the mule, okay? All right. Mommy. All right. Okay. Let's go. Here we Where's go. Mommy? We're going Where's to go. Here we are driving over in the mule to the location that Cody has fenced in for the sheep on the property. What did the sheep say? <laughs> we're, we're going down that hill, remember? That's where they're gonna stay for a little bit. He's been so excited. Yeah, the tall grass, hopefully they eat that tall grass. Yeah. We have a temporary area paddocked in with this netting that is electric hot wired that we set up just for them for dropping off because we were a little bit nervous of how flighty they would be and if they would try to jump the um, two wire stranded fence we have. Yeah, as like a, a post, you see? Okay. You use that as yeah. like a swivel. So I'm going to disconnect this. Okay. Disconnected. I disconnected the red thing. So we're going to lift this up. So that's not hot anymore. No. Okay. We're lift it up and bring it to here. Okay. Okay. What I want you to do um, is as I'm come as I'm backing in, I want you to tell me when a good place is for me to stop to where the cor this corner of the trailer is about right here somewhere. Okay. That way, when we swing that gate open, we can close this netting back stick it in the ground and then connect it back to a hot wire. As you can tell, we were really nervous going into this. We didn't know how they were going to react when they were let out of that livestock trailer. All right, y'all ready? We're ready. See what they do. Hey, girls. Hey. Y'all going to come? I think they may have been just as nervous as we are because at first they didn't want to budge. Cody had to get up in the trailer to get them out. Hey girls. Uh, look, Asher. Hey. Don't touch it again. Okay, okay. Okay. Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Girl. <laughs> Look at the dog. <laughs> Ouch, they're here. <laughs> Much to our surprise, the sheep went right out into the paddock that we had for them, and they were pretty calm. They started eating right away. It was awesome. I really think they like their new home. Already. <laughs> They're eating that Cerise Celeste with these. Look at them. They're tearing it up. What you think, Asher? They like those weeds. What do yeah. they what do they say, Asher? They are eating it. Can you can you say what they say? Bah. We were all super excited to have them here, especially Asher. He just wanted to pet them. Unfortunately, it might be a little while before they trust us enough to let us do that. <laughs> It really was such a relief to have the sheep just look like they belong here. They really did not seem out of place and they honestly seemed pretty calm considering they were in a new place for the first time. <laughs> After you're being a shepherd, you're leading them. Here you can see Cody pouring the dog food into the feeding pen that he had built for Pippa. This is actually 
um, very much to Greg Judy's plan of how he trains his dogs, so Pippa should already be used to it. I think our golden retriever, Ryder Jackson, might have a little competition with Pippa. Asher looks pretty smitten with this dog already. <laughs> Cody's just out there working hard, as usual, while we're all playing. <laughs> well, we got them here. And they are eating this stuff up. Unloading them was a little easier than we thought. I had thought that we'd open this. We were, we were preparing to open this trailer and hurry up and shut the fence back and hurry up and reconnect the hot wire, but they all stayed in the trailer. Uh, while we just stared at him for about 30 seconds and I, I ended up walking in the trailer and just getting behind him and leading him out and they kind of hopped on out and jogged over to the section they're eating in now and been walking all around this small little electric netting paddock that we have for them. And uh, the dog that we got, Pippa is her name now. She's super friendly and uh, She's drank out of her water trough already, which is just a bathtub. I'll show you more of that in another video. And then uh, I've got her feeder filled up with dog food. This is the same type of feeder that Greg Judy tra trains these dogs to. She's yet to eat out of it, but I'm sure she will. She knows what it's for. It's with a few minor exceptions, it looks identical, I think. Um, but yeah, we're super excited about this. This is awesome. They're eating, eating this undesirable grass away quite quickly, I might add. Might be moving them sooner than I thought. <laughs> well, that's it, you guys. We finally got the sheep on the property. Yay, we're so excited. And we're so grateful for this opportunity that we've been given on our homestead. And we can't wait to share these experiences with y'all and all that we learn from raising our own St. Croix sheep. Stay tuned and subscribe for more future videos. God bless you guys.